Roger. And I'm Adam. And welcome to another one of RC Street Shop's how-to videos. And what are we how-toing today? Today we're going to how-to, how to adjust your slipper clutch properly. Adjusting a slipper clutch, another common repair or adjustment, I guess. Type well, of it's thing. one of those things that gets overlooked. Slipper clutches are one of those things that they're almost every single car has it, and it's just something you got to deal with. There you got to mess with. Worth knowing what it is, where where it is, and how what to adjust it. it. Uh, let's see. What tools are folks going to need today? In this order is to play going well? to vary from car to car quite a bit. Okay. Today we have a tool that attracts this car. Uh, so we just need pretty much just a little T-handle wrench. And that That's comes it. with your vehicle. Right, comes with, with your kit. Um, yeah. Every car is a little bit different, so... Some sort of a nut driver of some sort. Right, of or, running. yeah, just check your instruction manual. Yeah. But we're, yeah. we're going to teach you the basics of it. Yeah. What steps that? were we going to be covering, specifically? Like? Uh, we're going to teach you how to set it up and how to check to make sure it's right. Okay. All right, that's pretty basic. So what this does is essentially this slipper clutch acts as a clutch between the transmission and the rest of the drive line. Okay. So if you jump your car and it comes down and you're on the throttle when it lands or mm -hmm. you hit a rock or anytime you reverse load the transmission, so it's loaded going forward and all of a sudden you snap it back in the other direction, that's really, really hard on the gears, yeah. axles, everything. So what the slipper yeah. clutch does is it kind of slips and absorbs that impact. Uh, so like you said, it, it acts as a clutch to protect the transmission from uh, really... Uh, Abusive driveline stuff. Gotcha. The other purpose it serves is it can help uh, keep your car from wheeling, makes your car more controllable. So you set it up a little loose, so when you accelerate, the slipper clutch slips instead of the tires, and your car goes straight, and then once it's rolling, it's already under control. Okay. So those are basically the two functions the slipper clutch does. Yeah, so you can see here there's some spaces between the springs. That means the spring is loose. Okay. Uh, and we'll show you right now what yeah. happens. So That's we just right. loosened it too much to show you what happens. So if I hold the gear, you roll the car forward, you can see the nut spinning, and that's the slipper turning on the inside. Now, normally we would see that whole assembly turning, correct? Right, but as you can see, the wheels and tires are spinning yeah. as I hold the uh, the gear. So this would be in a case so of, this is normal why right are here. my wheels turning? Why right. are my wheels turning? That's exactly it. It's yeah. So people will get on, when your slipper's worn out, it'll act like this. So people will accelerate, and just the opposite will happen. The gear will spin like this, and the car will go nowhere. Mm -hmm. So your motor accelerates your gear first. Gotcha. And it's got to go through your slipper into your transmission. Okay. So when your slipper's worn, it does this, and your car goes, Wee! it doesn't go anywhere. Mm. Slipper's bad. All right. So what we do, and it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. Now, we, if you look at the instructions of your Traxxas car, it will tell you, tighten, this, the, um, tighten the nut until the coils all bind up, back out one whole turn. Okay. So what we're going to do with this here, if you can see this, yep. hopefully my fat hand won't get in the way. No, we should be good. You gotta hold the gear, tighten the nut down. And this is just so basically you're eliminating the gap between the springs so there's no touch. Correct. And that gives you a good baseline to adjust from from there? Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're tightening. And this isn't doing anything because we need to put the tire on. <laughs> Do you need me to hold anything? Uh. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Right. So, we're tightening, we're tightening. You may need to put the tire on because the differential may spin while you're trying to yeah. tighten this, and then you'll never so get it tight. Good. That was happening. That's right. why, Roger. Right, so you put the tire on. So now, we've got our coils together. You can see it's tight. Okay. Now, Traxxas says to back up one whole turn. So we're going to go one whole turn from... All right. Half a turn. And one whole turn. No so now our slipper's tight. So if you hold this like this, uh, it barely, oh, it barely slips. Oh, yeah, and that probably hurts your finger too. Yeah, that hurts. Yeah, those teeth are sharp. Now, there is no right or wrong way to adjust your slipper unless you absolutely leave it too loose and it just destroys the slipper. Okay. Um, I personally like to crank that thing down as hard as possible mm -hmm. and don't let it slip. Okay. Because that gets your car to wheelie. Okay. Uh, you get better response. All right. And it doesn't wear out. All right. That's just my personal preference. Okay. Um, Traxxas will tell you, well, if you do that, you're going to break all the gears. Yeah, you will break all the gears. But, but it's a five or, what, $7 part. Right. That. Yeah, yeah. No. And you're not driving this thing to work, so you don't need it to be reliable. Okay. So, um, and that's essentially how you do it. So this is <laughs> so how they recommend to set it. If we want to do it the Roger way. Yeah, the Roger way. 
We're not. Ne- by the way, we're not necessarily suggesting the Roger way, but we're letting you know the Roger way. <laughs> I cranked that bad boy down. Oh yeah, he's oh, still, yeah. yeah, I could see and that. Now, oh, now this yeah. bad boy is going to wheel. It's going to rip my finger apart before the <laughs> wheels. To, so <laughs> okay, but like I said, now this is an extreme. Okay, so you can what you can do is drive your car. Get on the throttle where there's a lot of traction, like carpet or mm-hmm. pavement. And if you don't like the way it drives, crank it out a quarter turn or half a turn. Okay. If you keep cranking, it, you're going to get to a point where it'll, you'll hear it slip. Mm-hmm. Traxxas recommends that you can set it up so the first two feet of acceleration in high traction conditions, the slipper slips a little bit. I don't like that. Some of you may. Well, that's personal some, preference. It's really, yeah, it's just kind of a tuning tool. It's personal preference. This is a part that is designed to wear. You are going to have mm-hmm. to replace it. Right. Um, and it is an inexpensive part. It's exactly. generally across the board. So. Right. A rebuild kit for these, which includes the new pads mm-hmm. and uh, the new friction surface, is like $7. So, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, try different things and see what happens. Right. If someone leaves that too loose or does go too tight, is that going to impact other parts? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm glad you asked that because right. I was going to mention this. If you leave your slipper too loose, it heats up. It's friction. You're going to get a lot of heat from that. Okay. If it spins up too much, uh, it'll wreck your, your it's going to wreck your spur gear because it's directly connected to it. So that heat's going to transfer directly into the spur gear. Your spur gear is going to heat up and it can warp or even strip or I mean it's going to mess your, your your spur gear up. So do not leave it too loose because a your car's not going to accelerate very well and b you're going to ruin mm. your spur gear by that because all that heat we've seen. People spin the slipper clutch so bad that it actually starts to smoke like it's on fire. We have actually, yeah. And then all of a sudden they wonder why the gear all is like all wobbly and and, 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 and goofy shape because they got the gear so hot yeah. that the plastic got soft and reformed itself. Yeah, which will happen. It will right. happen. So And like I said, if you screw that up, it's not the end of the world. It's a five dollar part. Yeah. But yeah. It's all learning. Slipper is one of those things you can play with and figure out how you like it. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. So I think that covers all the major steps. Uh, why is doing this important? It's important because you need to understand the drive line on your RC car. So when something does fail, mm-hmm. if it is your slipper, you're not going to go out running and buying a new motor or buying it's yeah, just part yeah. of learning how to diagnose what goes wrong with your car and learning about how your car works and it obviously gives you that fine-tuned performance there that's where, the nice thing yeah. too right is, is you can fine-tune your car just a little bit to drive exactly the way you want it to drive yeah so you know what i mean it adapt to your style and mm-hmm. yeah a lot of fun on a scale of one to ten one being easy ten being the most difficult where would you rate this uh this is probably a two or three it's a simple thing learning it's a little bit harder but okay. you know on most cars uh, they intend for you, uh, for you to mess with the slipper. So like on Traxxas cars, they give you this little plug. And you pop it off, and it gives you access to it without even removing without the motor Without having cover. to unscrew anything. Right. We pulled the motor cover off here so you so can see. see. But normally, with that little cap off, it's just a matter of sticking the T-handle wrench in there and adjusting gotcha. it. All right. So it's a simple thing to do, and it doesn't take much time at all if, if you're not. Yeah, speaking of time, how, what would you say? About five minutes? If, if that. that. Right. If that. If you know what you're doing. If you don't know if you don't know how you want it set, it may take you 15, 20 yeah, minutes. You're to gonna set it, it play try with it. it, set it, play with it, right. and see where you right. like it. Always drive it after you set it. Yeah. That way you know if it, whether it's right or not. Yeah. Don't wait until race day and suddenly you're like, oh, it's not right. doing what I expected it to do. Right. Um, all right. Well, that, there you go. How to adjust a slipper clutch and check it. We'll cover in another video how to rebuild. That's a, a whole separate clutch. topic. So. Right. Uh, let's see, if folks want to come in and pick up the things they need, you know, a slipper clutch perhaps, because they burned out their last one. Yeah. Hey, is there anywhere they can do that? They can. Where? RC Street Shop, 5521 East Spring Street, Long Beach, California, 90808. And if folks are geographically challenged and live on the other side of the country, can't come to the store physically, is there a phone number they can call instead? Why would you do that? Because people are born where they're born. Okay. If you want to call us, dial 562-425-9000. All right. And uh, speaking words into the phone, it's just too much social pressure for you. You can go ahead and write an email instead, info at rcstreetshop.com. We are also on social media. We are on Twitter, at rcstreetshop, all one word. 
We are also on the Facebook. Like the page there. Keep up on things that way if you prefer. We, of course, are also doing the YouTube thing. We would appreciate it if you'd like the video. We appreciate that you watch it. But more importantly, we need you to subscribe. subscribe. Yeah. Hit that subscribe yeah, button. Do it. do it. You know you want to. Yeah. We appreciate it. Tell your friends, and we'll see you next week.